In this section, we will be validating Kirchhoff's laws, um, and the circuit that we will be using is provided on this breadboard right here. Uh, in this circuit, I will describe it briefly. In, in this circuit, we have three one kilo ohm resistors connected in series, uh, here, here, and here. And we have the 2.2 kilo ohm resistors that are kind of coming out of these interjections to random points on the breadboard. Note that in the first scenario, we are not connecting the two 2.2 kilo ohm resistors. The way we are going to validate Kirchhoff's laws from this circuit is by measuring the voltage difference across individual loads in this more complex load. And the way we are going to measure it would be according to the orientation as provided in the lab manual. So as I refer to the lab manual, uh, I'm going to be measuring the voltage difference across every resistor in sequence from A to G. And I will be placing the hot wire and the ground in accordance with how the lab manual would like me to measure these values. Firstly, for A, we take the hot wire and place it with the hot wire for the DC power supply. And we match the grounds. As a sanity check, we can already observe that the entire voltage drop across the load is 5 volts that indeed matches the DC power supply voltage. So this would be the measurement for A. For B, we are going to now put the black uh, ground wire near the hot wire of the DC power supply and relegate the red to the other side. So for part B, upon measuring, we get minus negative 1.693 volts. Similarly, for uh, part C, we would again like to use the ground wire from the DMM um, to be nearer to the hot wire from the DC power supply. So for part C, upon measuring, we get again negative 1.685 volts. For part D, we have the same policy, and we get negative 1.692 volts. For part E, um, we carry out the same procedure. And in this case, we are looking at the 2.2 kilo ohms uh, load that is nearer to the ground of the DC power supply, which is in fact this one right here. Now on this one, we attach the ground wire from the DMM to the intersection of the three resistors here, the two one kilo ohms and the 2.2 kilo ohm. The measurement of the voltage across this 2.2 kilo ohm load has been measured to be zero millivolts. Similarly, for the um, F uh, example, we now measure across these two points, and we record negative 1.684, roughly. And similar to E, G would be recorded as Z 
zero Louisville's. Note once again that for G and E, the terminals are somehow switched if you compare them horizontally. Next, we do the same procedure, but in this case, we add this black jumper wire across the two 2.2 kilo ohm loads in order to observe the change of the voltage drops across each load and yet also to observe the consistency of Kirchhoff's loss. We go through the same process again across A we once again use the hot wire in conjunction with the hot wire from the DC power supply. And the ground wire, of course, is on the other side. In this case, we record an even 1.800 volts across A, across uh, Across A, my apologies. The uh, let's start that over.